Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Jessie, my working Cocker Spaniel. She's five years old and she's an ex-breeding dog. I've had her for just a little over two months now and she's becoming one of the best decisions I ever made. I decided I wanted to have a dog and I've had dogs in the past. I had an old English sheepdog when I was a kid and when I was a teenager I had a West Highland Terrier. But having a dog and keeping birds of prey and working with them all the time was going to be potentially a challenge. So it was important that I got the right dog. So I started by asking lots of people who know what they're talking about, about what breed I should get and things like that. And the Cocker Spaniel was a strong suggestion. So I began looking around for something that needed a home. I wasn't interested in a puppy. I wanted something that was a bit older, that was looking for a retirement home or something like that. And this ex-breeder from a licensed breeding facility in West Yorkshire was just ideal. I visited the dog a number of occasions before taking her home, including taking the kids along as well on a couple of occasions and taking her for walks. My concerns about getting a dog were largely three things. One, traveling in the car. Would she be restless in the car? Would she get car sick? Because I do a lot of traveling to and back from events all the time. Secondly, would she be okay on display with the birds because I don't want her to go near the birds. My birds of prey will get used to a dog with time but even then they can be startled by her and there's a risk that the dog could injure a bird or that the bird could injure the dog. And my third concern was walking. I wanted a dog that I could take for long walks and have her just off the lead free following me around. Well, I'm pleased to say she travels really well. She just curls up on the seat and enjoys the ride, has a little snooze as we go to events. On display, she sits by the display, no problem at all. We take her for walks often during the day whilst we're actually on display as well. And that's on top of the walk she gets in the morning and sometimes an evening too. And the element of being near the birds isn't a problem. She's very cautious around the birds and therefore she's not running up to them and if any of the birds give her a bit of a warning hiss, she backs right off. So that's all going really well too. Some of my birds, like the peregrine falcon, aren't bothered about dogs whatsoever at all. And she can go and sniff all near them and they just don't care. And one or two of them are more cautious because they see dogs as a predator, which of course they naturally are. But as you can see, Jessie here loves attention. Her recall's fantastic, I have no issue, as I say, off the lead, no problem calling her to me, and she has just fitted in to my lifestyle just perfectly. So I'm really, really happy. In fact, I would argue that Jessie the dog here is one of the best things to happen in 2022. So you're gonna see Jessie popping up in various videos in the future, like in the Owl Diaries and things like that. You might see her being walked in the background or little clips of her with me, because at the moment it seems that most of the time, wherever I am, Jessie here isn't far away. Thanks for watching.